Hello everyone, and welcome to my mod tutorial on the Big Reactors mod. Now this is a very important mod for gener power generation if you're playing, uh, say, uh, modded survival. Uh, I love to use it on my modded survival worlds. It's very efficient and uh, low cost, so today I'll teach you how to build some big reactors to make loads of power. So I'll start uh, with all the blocks you need. So first, you'll need to mine some yellowrite ore, and that's found pretty much everywhere in the earth, every biome. And then you'll put this into a pulverizer, and you'll get this yellowrite dust, or yellorium dust, and then you'll put that into a furnace, and you can smelt it into yellorium ingots. And uh, this you will use, I guess it's sort of like uranium, and you use it uh, to power your yellorium fuel rods and power your reactor. So here are all the blocks you need. You need reactor casings, you need one reactor controller, reactor glass is interchangeable with reactor casings, um, and a reactor controller, uh, rea uh, you plenty of yellorium fuel rods, a power tap, and two reactor access ports. You can have more if you want, but I recommend two. So first, you need to make the multi-block. And uh, the multi-block, you can uh, use just about any design, but I like to just make uh, squares. And I'll start by showing you how to build just a 5x5. Five five. So you just want to build a basic 5x5 uh, five five structure here. This is this one of the smallest reactors you can build. It won't produce a whole lot of power, but if you want to make a bigger one, it's not that expensive. You're going to put your controller. It doesn't matter where it goes as long as it's on the outside edge. And I like to put glass around, but you can just put reactor casings since they are intercha interchangeable parts. But I, I like the glass because then you can see inside. So you just put some glass here in the middle. And then we'll need a fuel rod in the middle. Oh, and then uh, we should put our uh, access ports. And then one which will be the outlet mode. Um, and that will uh, export the waste and in the back we can have a power tap or you can put it in the front you can put it anywhere you want and on uh, inside you're going to need a eulorium fuel rod you can make that as big as you want and you can have as many as you want but I'll just start with one for now and then on top of every fuel rod you'll need a control rod and then you just fill in the extra space or uh, actually if you have a coolant you should add a coolant I like to use resident ender because that's the best, but uh, if you don't have a bunch of ender pearls lying around, you can use any thermal expansion liquid you want. Um, Alright, here's some ender, and just pour that all around. And be careful because if you step in the liquid, it will warp you somewhere. Um, not too far away, but it'll warp you somewhere and it'll be annoying. Then you can just finish filling in the top. And then once it's all complete, you'll see it turns into a multi-block. And you'll know when you've done it right. Um, Alright, so then you go over to the... Con or actually, first, you're going to need to fill your reactor with fuel. So you take your eulorium ingots and you put them in. Some, uh, the bigger, the more fuel rods you have, the more eulorium you'll need. So then here we have that... Uh, the f core is full of f fuel, and this is your casing heat, and um, that's not really important for this type of setup. And the core heat, uh, that just, it, it kind of, it, it's, it helps the power output if you have more core. 
heat and this the energy buffer is just how much power you're making now this one won't make a whole lot of energy but if you make say a 12 by 12 on my 12 by 12 I'm getting like uh, 100,000 RF per tick and that is a lot of power you won't ever need that much so now let's turn the reactor on you just push activate reactor you can see it's making a bit of energy and the heat is rising and it's making uh, 1. uh, 1,400 redstone flux per tick that's a good amount of power uh, it'll some lag here sorry um, so then now that you got your power running you can uh, get some say universal cables from mechanism you can use uh, thermal expansion conduits to uh, I just like mechanism though so you got some universal cables and you just take them out of the back and the light will go green when it's outputting power and uh, then you can put all sorts of machines like a, well, let's say a pulverizer from thermal expansion uh, and there oh, oops. alright so here's your pulverizer and instantly full of power and that's about it for today so I'll see you all in my next mod tutorial and I hope this helps thanks see you later subscribe and like today if you want more bye